known as the voice whisperer. <laughs> I fix voices. Anyway. One, 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 one. That did one, 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 one. One, 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 one. One by one by one they come. One by one by one they come. Time and time and time again. Time and time and time again. Good, and we're putting this action, we're putting it right there, this gesture, so that you really think of releasing the voice as opposed to pushing the voice. One. 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 Good, let's go back to the top. Hi, I'm Denise Woods. I teach voice and speech at California Institute of the Arts, but my career really started when I was 14 years old. I uh, sang opera. Yes, that's right. I'm an opera diva. <laughs> I grew up in New York City on the Lower East Side of New York. That's right. I'm a New Yorker. They talk like this. And um, the thought of moving to California and working with people like Will Smith, Jamie Foxx, um, Ellen Burstyn, Felicia Rashad. Will is an amazing human being, and those of you who know of him, have worked with him, know that he's just one of the most gracious people walking the face of the earth. And working with him was another defining moment in my career. I, I worked with him, giving him the dialect for the film Ali. Man, if they came to me tomorrow and they say, we want you to fight Joe Frazier, Madison Square Garden, millions and millions of dollars, here's your license back, I will tell them I will never fight again. Which was really what put me on the map. I've worked with Felicia Rashad, who's, who's also this wonderfully spiritually connected uh, human being. Uh, Ellen Burstyn, who did a play, The Last Confederate Widow Tells All, and she had to do several voices. She was this old Confederate woman from the South and she did all of these voices. She played aging slave men and women and, and she found me um, because I was able to give her all of these voices and we were able to talk about our history. I've worked with young actors who are now becoming stars, major, major stars like Anthony Mackie. Um, who's really quite, quite, quite um, near and dear to my heart because he was a young actor from, uh, from New Orleans and uh, actually didn't have a theater background and I sort of took him under my wing and, and convinced his family that he should do theater and look at what we have now. I've worked with Sara Ramirez who's on Grey's Anatomy who has the singing voice of a bird. She was my student at Juilliard. Viola Davis was in her last year at Juilliard uh, in 1992, which was my first year at Juilliard. I, I've taught Audra McDonald. I just coached uh, the, the, the Broadway production of Porgy and Bess starring Audra. And um, I've had so many amazing, amazing opportunities and I'm, I'm grateful for them. But again, I, I keep going back to the experience that I have with young actors, young actors who are just starting Eric, out. Eric, Eric. Eric, Eric, Eric. Not Eric, Eric, Eric. Eric, Eric, Eric. Eric, Eric, Eric. Can you oh. hear it? Oh. I've, I've, I've been privy to so many young, vivacious, vibrant actors at the theater school at, at CalArts, and it really, really sort of sets a standard for me. It raises the bar because I really feel that I was instrumental in, in the beginning stages of these young artists' careers and what they're able to do at this age and for me to see them blossom and bud into, into major forces in the industry is just, it's, it's, it's a dream come true.